Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I'm breaking the backlog of videos. Uh, I'm about a week ahead on videos right now. <laughs> uh, a lot of closer stuff, uh, some other little announcements I had to make, but uh, this is a uh, pretty informational. It's kind of a call to arms. Uh, a lot of people uh, have been interested in the DW8 XL PC version. Uh, they just did another 50% discount. Uh, it is a flash or weekend sale. Uh, it's going to end on Monday. Uh, well, what's special about this particular sale uh, compared to the last one is the DLC is actually on sale. Uh, like I mentioned in my uh, review that I did a couple weeks ago, uh, they almost never put the DLC on sale. Uh, the game, the base game itself has been discounted several times, but uh, the DLC, I think this is only like the second time that it's been discounted. So uh, if you if you don't have the game, uh, even though it's not 75% off, you might want to buy it. Uh, just on the basis of getting the DLC. Uh, like I said, uh, the supplement, the actual important DLC, like the, the Guan Yu's escape, uh, the new weapons and stuff, uh, that comes out to about 40, 50 bucks uh, normally. Right now, it's just about 20. Uh, it's a pretty crazy deal. Uh, the costumes are also on sale too. Uh, I'm not too big on buying DLC costumes. Uh, I'm not really a fan of that practice, but if it's under two bucks, uh, I'm more likely to buy it. And, uh, it's a pretty good deal. I mean, you get like a couple dozen costumes for under two bucks. It's 150 to be exact. Uh, you might want to act on this. Uh, it may be several months before they put the DLC on sale again. Uh, I know a lot of people are kind of skeptical because uh, DW8 Empires is going to be coming out in about a month from now. Uh, but, you know, different strokes for different folks. Uh, some people want the strategic gameplay. Uh, there's some people like me who just want the action. Uh, <laughs> you may want to you may want to act on this because uh, you may not get another chance for a while. Uh, even though the next summer sale, the next sale is probably going to be the summer sale. Uh, they're probably going to have this at 75% off by that point. It'll have been out for about a year. But uh, there's no saying, there's no telling on if there's going to be the DLC. So uh, you might want to act on it. Uh, you have until, I guess, Monday. So <laughs> uh, you, I suggest acting sooner than later if you're like even remotely interested. Because uh, Koei Tecmo, uh, as lo along with most other uh, <laughs> Japanese publishers and developers, they're very stingy with their sales. Uh, they don't do it as often as the American publishers. I mean, we just had... Uh, the new Assassin's Creed, the one that was like broken at launch, is already like 33% off. It's only been like three months. Uh, whereas with this, uh, this is the second time uh, in almost a year that they've discounted it. So you might want to act. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, I also had another announcement. Um, it turns out uh, it doesn't look like Tales of Zestiria is going to have a digital release, uh, which means I will not be splitting the cost. Uh, with my friend Swillow. Uh, that was the original plan. Uh, I was not particularly, you know, hyped for it to begin with, but uh, <laughs> uh, not being able to uh, share it digitally is pretty much the, the nail in the coffin for me. Uh, I will be posting thoughts and uh, analyses uh, from my friends that are going to be streaming and uploading the game, but uh, I'm going to have to cancel it. Uh, I've got too many other things to afford right now. Uh, I also didn't really want to run the risk of it being another Samurai Warriors 4, which means, uh, you know, plunking a bunch of money down on it and then not liking the game and forcing myself to play it. Uh, I've got a lot of things uh, outside of the channel that are stressing me out right now, and uh, I just felt like it, it wasn't really a good investment. Uh, I kind of considered going ahead and, and putting down some money towards Zestiria, but uh, I'm going to let other people be the guinea pig this time. <laughs> uh, I was the guinea pig with Samurai Warriors 4, which is, you know, something I did willingly on my own accord, but uh, that game was pretty disappointing. Uh, I don't really want to repeat that again twice in the same year, so uh, I, I may get it localized. Uh, I may get it uh, next month uh, if the verdict from the hardcore Tales fans is pretty good. Uh, but I, I'm not going to be getting it at launch, so uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, I have a bunch of closer stuff to go out. Uh, this is ahead of my scheduled videos. Uh, at this point, uh, I have about 10 levels to go before the cap. Uh, I'm going to probably get to at least like 42 to 43. Uh, I may stop and wait for optimization because uh, the game runs like shit right now. Uh, I've done everything on my end. Uh, I think it's a lot on their end. It's just the... Uh, the engine is not really, <laughs> I guess it's not really meant for low-end cards, which is kind of odd since, you know, it's a PC-only game. Uh, you'd think they want to accommodate more people, but uh, until they do that, uh, I'm not sure how far I'm going to get. Uh, I hear the last area of the game is full of the effects that make the frame rate tank. Uh, 
There is also a quest that you have to do to get your final class change, uh, where you fight a bunch of, uh, you know, non-playable characters, but, you know, they're the actual, like, playable classes. Uh, kind of like, you know, fighting game AI opponents. Uh, and the frame rate is pretty crazy there, too, uh, especially if you're in a party. So, uh, I don't know how long I'm going to play it, but uh, the response has been pretty good. So, uh, enjoy the rest of the backlog. Uh, I will do as much as I can with that. And uh, probably going to carry that through the rest of January. Uh, February, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. Uh, Toki then got pushed up a month. So, uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe DWA Empires have come up for it. Peace.